Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a reading for all signs, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for every single one of you. So if it does not resonate, just click on something else or something. Um, if you like a personal reading, that'll be in the description down below, either through Zoom or recorded, whichever one you choose. You can find my contact information there, my email, all that sort of stuff. And if you like to join us to the channel, feel free to do so, because that does help out, along with memberships. Two cards for the collective. We have number 30, the precious and rare. Number 44, which is an important number here. Hopeful heart, see her sign. Look at this. You know what? This talks about you as a person here, precious and rare. And what this card talks about is spirit is sending you signs that things are going to work out for you, all right? You need to have faith in that, okay? So, let's start off with the sign of Aries. So a blessing is coming to the sign of Aries. Okay, so we have the moon, which we do have this full moon coming up. Aries and full moon. Six of wands. Seven of swords. Okay, look at this, Aries. I do see you... Um, huh. So I do, I do see a lot of success coming your way, a lot of achievement, okay, a lot of victory. You know, things are going good in your life, but I also see, like, a lot of backstabbing people. Alright, that you're going to be finding things out about. Some of you have already found this out. But yes. Let's grab more cards for you. What I see for what I see a situation for you, Aries, it's it's like you have either this person or multiple people like this around you where they're, you know, they appear as, like, quite supportive, you know, like these supportive friends or, you know, whatever, right? But below the surface, that's not the case. I'm gonna just put it that way. And either you found this out or you're gonna find it out. I feel like a lot of you have already found out this about a person. Okay. So I guess the blessing is that is the truth being revealed, right? And then, you know, you're finding out, like, years later. Sunshine. The sun is shining on your career and business growth, fabulous communication and relationships. So you still have, like, a lot of positive things going on in your life, Aries. Don't let this bother you. All right? Career and business, like I said, success is coming your way. And in terms of relationships here as well, Aries, that's going to be successful here, too. Okay? the festival creates an energetic blueprint for a fantastic party or event okay Aries so being invited to some sort of social event six of wands that makes sense all right there's a lot of people being around there okay Twelve with the temple path. Uh, look how there's so many different things going on with you, Aries. But that's a good thing. Like, there's so many like um, areas of your life that are improving. All right, career, business, love, spirituality. I have no idea what that squeaking sound is, so don't ask me. <laughs> but either way, you're going down a more spiritual path here as well. areas in your life your areas one commitment in love so if you're with someone you know it could be like engagement or something or if you're single it can be love coming up ahead for you uh, commitment to your business your career commitment to your spirituality here as well all right so let's move on to the sign of Taurus Taurus so what blessings coming to the sign of Taurus We 
have the Eight of Cups. Six of Pentacles. Ace of Cups. Taurus, the blessing coming to you is walking away from something here in your life. And as we pull more cards, we're going to find out more about that. But walking away from a situation or a place and going on into something new. Okay? So this can be like an actual, you know, like place. Job place or, or moving, you know, something like that. It can be like a relationship or, you know. You're just going on into new and better, Taurus. Ace of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Alright, with the Eight of Cups. I, I see a lot of you, like, new love coming into your life. Someone totally brand new. Yeah, reinvent yourself. The transformation is taking place. Enjoy a new lease of life. So yeah, you are reinventing yourself with this whole situation here, Taurus. So you're heading into the new. Alright, it's new you. Ha! Yes. Happy love. A joyful, stable partnership and good friends. See, Taurus. About to have like a really good relationship coming up ahead for yourself. Number 50 with Angel of Strength, and you're having angels around you sending you strength here, Taurus, in this time. As you walk away from whatever you're walking away from. Now, it's wanting to be more general on that, so I guess, you know, it is a general reading. And you just apply it to what it applies to in your life. Courage. Strength and courage is being sent your way as you're doing this, okay? Taurus. So let's move on to the sign of Gemini. The blessings coming to the sign of Gemini. We have a page of cups, page of pentacles, two of wands. What you've been wanting in your life finally happens. Okay, Gemini, you're receiving news or communication on that. Like what you've been waiting for, what you've been expecting in your life, it just happens. Like boom. You understand? Like I said, it's whatever you've been like expecting in your life, whatever you've been wanting, whatever you've been desiring, it comes into your life and it brings a lot of joy and it also kind of takes you by surprise at the same time, even though you've been expecting this. Oops. Nature. Interact with nature in the outdoors, around animals, farmlands, or by the ocean. This will be good here. Good for the soul and healing for you, right? Maybe interacting more with nature here as well, Gemini, like going somewhere. We have insight. Opens the third eye to strengthen intuition. Okay, Gemini, you need to go out in nature so that you can open up your uh, third eye more. That's going to do something for you. Alright, and I know that probably <laughs> sounds weird to you, but just do it. Number 17 with action. Yeah, you see, Gemini, there's action being applied here. Alright. And what I feel like is there's finally, like, communication coming in, or news coming in of what you've been wanting. Like, communication with the person that you've been wanting to communicate, or, you know, like that. Action's finally being applied here.
answers. Yeah. You see, Gemini, this can be interpreted in two different ways, and it, it all lines up kind of the same. First off, what we've been talking about here, answers to your prayers, things that you've been desiring, things that you've been expecting or wanting in your life, that's coming into your life, and answers to questions that you've been having. Okay? So. Let's move on to the sign of Cancer. The blessings come into the sign of Cancer. Cancer. A lot of your readings are kind of weird. We have the High Priestess. And that is Pisces. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Knight of Cups. Now, Cancer, what it feels... You're going through some um, spiritual psychic stuff, as we, you know, as this whole moon thing is happening and all this, you know, planetary stuff is happening. You're connecting to all that here, and you're like at this higher level where you can just feel things. You're like, um, intuition is very strong within you right now. Psychic gifts are very strong within yourself, Cancer. All right, maybe it's a bit overwhelming at times, but I think it's fine. What I also see, I see you manifesting communication here as well, Cancer. All right. I see you just manifesting things that you've been desiring. We have society. Say yes to all the wonderful invitations coming your way. Ex excellent networking opportunities and new love interest will be the for singles will be the result. All right, Cancer. So yeah, maybe getting invited somewhere. We have self-confidence, strong self-belief in a sense of worth. I'm sorry, in a sense of worth. Okay, Cancer. So feeling more confident here as well, which is always good. Number 19, rest and rejuvenate. So yours isn't like kind of a bit different than like normal readings. Now my nose. But anyways, you're resting more here. Feels like it's right, but relaxing, getting your energy. Truth. Yours like all over the place. I see some news coming in where you get more truth, more honesty. I see you resting too, apparently. Like, um, I see you believing more in yourself. I think it's becoming more clear to you on your, your psychic gifts here as well, Cancer. I think you're getting more truth on that too. So let's move on to the sign of Leo. So a blessing is coming to the sign of Leo. A blessing is coming to the sign of Leo. We have the Tower, which is Scorpio. We have the Queen of Pentacles, which is Earth. We have the Ten of Cups. Honestly, Leo, what you've been putting out there in the universe, that is manifesting for you unexpectedly. Alright, it just comes in so unexpectedly. Blockages being removed in all areas of your life. Okay. You have a very powerful, um... I feel so itchy everywhere. But you have a very powerful, like, spirit as of right now, I guess. Where you just, like, really manifest things just like that. Like, you know, it just, it's, it comes into your reality. Everything that you've been wanting... And then some coming into your life. You're Ten of Cups, Leo. Alright? So honestly, your desires. Money's gonna be good for you. Love's gonna be good for you. you know, all, all areas of your life is gonna be good for you.
You have declutter. Declutter your life. Let go of corresponding objects and people you no longer want. Someone will hurt your feelings and reveal a new side of themselves that you may wish to avoid. Okay, Leo. That's another thing. You are going to be, like, releasing things out of your life. Alright, can be an earth sign that you're releasing out of your life. Maybe they, like, revealed some side of themselves that you didn't like. So they got removed. Like that tower. You understand? And it's like, when you remove this person, Leo, you feel so much more happier. Alright? And then that's when things really start to just, like, come into your life. Like, the, you know, the love you've been wanting, I see your relationship improving, you know, that person was like a big blockage in your life, and, they're, you know, the filth is finally gone. I feel like heavy earth, you know? What enchanted evening, Leo? What are you doing up here? The perfect night. You're having the perfect night, Leo. Doing what? We'll find out, because that can be many different things. I don't know if you're manifesting something on the night. You know, you're doing some sort of magic. You, What are you doing? Yeah. Number three, with blossoming abundance. Yes. This is what's coming up for you, Leo. Blossoming Abundance. And we're going to pull another card for you. So. Number 10 was Stormway. Stormway. Now, a lot of times this card can refer to an actual storm, which is kind of weird, you know, like the weather. But... Alright. Mm. Yeah, there is. It, it, it's good that you removed that person out of your life because I feel like it just would have gotten worse, Leo. You understand? Like, it, it wouldn't have gotten better. Just worse. But now you have abundance coming your way. Well-being. You're also taking care of your well-being here more, too, Leo. Alright. Which is good. So let's move on to the sign of Virgo. So what blessings coming to the sign of Virgo? What blessings coming to the sign of Virgo? What blessings coming to the sign of Virgo? I'm just gonna, like, repeat that. <laughs> okay. You being really indecisive. We have the Two of Pentacles, the Six of Swords, the Seven of Cups. You're being really unsure in which direction to take in your life. All right, you're having a lot of opportunities being presented to you, but you're like having this uh, indecision or kind of like confusion of which path to take, which is normal. Virgo, don't really feel bad about it. There is a lot of changes coming up ahead. Six of Swords. We have surprise. A disappointment will be followed by a pleasant surprise. An invitation can bring love to those searching. Okay, Virgo, a surprise is coming up ahead for you. I shouldn't ruin it for you. I should just leave it a surprise. We have Alwyn. Three rays of light. Balancing male and female energies, peace and harmony. Okay. Number 44, which we did see that earlier. Woman holding a heart. So you're going to have someone, um... You're having options in love here, Virgo. And it's someone quite feminine. Alright? So they can be a man with a lot of feminine energy, or they're just a woman that's very feminine, but look at that, reaching out, trying to give you a heart. My thing just fell out.
dreams. You've been having dreams of this? So you've been having dreams of all this, this, this woman here, or man. Either way, you've been having dreams of this, and it comes as a surprise still, I guess because it, it, it's in your reality, and it's kind of surprising. Oh, you got a weird reading, Virgo, but that's your reading, so we're going <laughs> to we're gonna move on to the sign of Libra. Blessings coming to sign of Libra. Understand like why the readings are a bit different than usual, it, and it's coming out here a lot. And a lot of you guys is reading is the moon, is all this you know planetary action, retrogrades, and all of that shifts in seasons. You know, and we have the moon for you, Libra. I what I was talking about. We have this full moon coming up ahead. We have the Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Swords. Okay, Libra, things that you've been focused on, um, that growing into reality. You understand, like what you've been putting your energy into that happening. I see communication happening around the moon. Um, it could also be family and pregnancies there too with that Seven of Pentacles. But now that's not going to be for all of you. All right, so don't so don't be freaking out. <laughs> Wisdom. To focus on the past is to lose the future. Heed advice from an older person which will allow you to move on. Okay, Libra? So. We have the Mystic Star. Harmony in the home and great friendships. Alright, Libra, that's a good thing. Here, you're going to have harmony here. And look at that, mystic. There's a lot of mystical things happening, alright? A lot of, like, like, um, sort of strange but good things happening, you're gonna notice. Alright? A bit of supernatural. Number 45, man holding a heart. Alright, Libra. <laughs> So like I said, you have communication coming in here. And what I feel like is that this person's a bit different themselves. They're not like a usual everyday person, mystic star. All right, but communication coming in with that person. It's someone who has a very like masculine vibe to them. All right. And it's in love. Closure. This brings in a lot of closure. Yeah. We have reconciliation on the bottom of the deck. So you have someone like coming in reconciling here. There's going to be a lot of closure. All right, with this communication. All right, so that so that can be either one thing. It, 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 closure, as in you know you get closure to whatever happened, and you can move on with them. You know, like forgive and learn, or you can leave it alone. It's up to you. Let's move on to the sign of Scorpio. So what blessing is coming to the sign of Scorpio? We are Scorpio, so you should like this. We have the Ace of Wands. Page of Wands, Ten of Cups, New Starts, New Beginnings, alright, a lot of mo uh, emotional fulfillment here, alright, communication coming in, feels like someone can be a bit younger with that being a page, can be heavy fire from this person, Ace of Wands, Page of Wands here, alright, so a new beginning with that person, that brings a lot of like, 
emotional fulfillment. There's also a bit of sexual energy there, Scorpio, Ace of Wands, which makes you happy, Ten of Cups. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. So let's see. You're gonna have people being jealous of this. Of you and this person here. We have jealousy trying to come out. If it comes out again, we'll just take it as the card. And let's see. We have achievement. Alright. We have achievement. Enjoy the limelight. You've earned it. Although on the family front, someone's health could cause some secret worries and sleepless nights. So, Scorpio, achievement. You're also going to be achieving things here in life. Alright. Which is always good. A lot of achievement. A lot of success. The way I view your sign, Scorpio, is it's like a very powerful sign that like when you set your mind to something, you have that like determination to really just like you know, achieve. We have air. Work with the element of air to cut through the core of a situation. the core of a situation and see the truth. All right, so we have air. Fire and air, Scorpio. So this person can have fire and air placements. You know, fire air combination. Okay. We have number 14 with caring connections. And number 49, Angel of Love. So, yeah, we're talking about love here. You have this angel bringing in this person, Scorpio. Alright, this caring connection. So, we'll take those as your cards. power. See, look at that, Scorpio. You have that willpower, all right, that um, sort of discipline, that determination to really, like, shift things in your life, to really, like, say no to certain things, to really, you know, like, achieve, you know? You know what I'm saying? Willpower. So let's move on to the sign of Sagittarius. So what blessings coming to the sign of Sagittarius? Similar to Leo's here. We have the Queen of Pentacles, which is Earth. We have the Tower, which is Scorpio. Justice, which is Libra. All right, justice being brought into your situation here, Sagittarius. Okay. Blockages being removed. Things happening unexpectedly, like good positive things happening unexpectedly, alright? Money happening unexpectedly, things that you've been wanting happening unexpectedly, and that's justice being brought into your situation, you understand? That's good karma, alright? So be prepared for that. Are you prepared? Sagittarius, I keep wanting to say Scorpio. Sagittarius, are you prepared? Hmm? We have romance. Oh, romance. Love is set to sizzle. The chance for romance is high for those seeking a connection. Oh my goodness, Sagittarius. Romance coming into your life. And I feel like, honestly, I feel like Scorpio. Scorpio Libra. Some Scorpio Libra placements. Especially if you've been wanting that. Either way, it is happening here. I should probably bring it over like, <laughs> you guys aren't over here. <laughs> You're over here. We also have achievements for you. Win the award, accolade, or contract. So you're also going to be achieving a lot here, Sagittarius. Queen of Pentacles. Alright. 
Like, that's big achievements in money. Like, I want you to think major, not just, like, you know, some small achievement. Like, something big is coming your way. Like, a lot of big things are coming your way. A lot of, like, major life-changing things in a positive way. All right? That's what I see for you. Number 11 with cornucopia. 11. All right. Sagittarius. Cornucopia. Yes, that is blessings. That is abundance. You know, that is like, um, that is a lot of big things coming your way. A lot of big abundance here. And I see journey on the bottom of the deck. There's, there's like some travels that could be happening here. Sagittarius. You're Sagittarius. And I would know that you guys love to travel. We have new beginnings, look at that. New beginnings, Sagittarius. Alright. Yeah, there's a lot of new beginnings happening. I see travels happening. I see romance with, you know, someone you've been manifesting here. And like I said, I haven't really feel Scorpio. Alright, new beginnings there. New beginnings with a person. Achievement. You know, prepare for a lot of good stuff. Alright. way I can put it like all areas of your like restrictions are being removed here Sagittarius all restrictions being removed and what I also want you to do I also kind of want I want you guys to kind of look at Leo's reading like go back and watch it because it's kind of similar to that Leo in Scorpio all right even if you don't have those placements just go back and look at it I also see reconciliation so I, I honestly I feel like a heavy um, return of someone that leads to romance So let's move on to the side of Capricorn, the goat. The goat. Blessings coming to the side of Capricorn. Alright, we have the Three of Pentacles, we have the Knight of Swords, we have the Five of Swords, Capricorn, okay? So, honestly... Things working out in your favor. I do see people trying to like give you conflict that you know you're working towards your life here, like things are like looking up for you. You know, you have people trying to like talk down to you for that, but like it... don't let those people in your life, all right? That's not something you need. I want you to focus on your goals, all right? Because you, career wise, things are going to be looking up for you. We need to focus on that. We have planning. Now is the time to lay down, lay down the foundations for your future. Financial gains are more than likely. So Capricorn, planning. What you've been planning for, you know, that's coming into life. I really want you to focus on that. If you're not, you, you don't have any plans, start planning. Okay. Have safe and happy travel protection from harm while journeying okay Capricorn so can't be some travels happening here too We have number 20 with envy, number 8 with indecision. See, that's the thing. That goes back to this Five of Swords. You're going to have people being jealous of you. Alright, and I see you being indecisive on whether or not to travel or not. It's like you're having plans for that. Being kind of indecisive whether or not to do it. If it feels right to you, then do it. If it doesn't, then, you know, just don't do it. Alright, so... Passion. See, Capricorn, you're going to be doing what you're most passionate about, alright? Your work, projects, that's what you're going to be most passionate about. Travel, you know, places, just really focusing on what you're 
passionate about. Okay. Which you are Capricorn. Capricorn Capricorn's like another one of those signs that like when they put something in their mind, they just achieve, you know? They just go for it. They really like get the gold, I guess. So let's move on to the sign of Aquarius. So what blessing is coming to the sign of Aquarius? Eight of Wands wanting to come out, so we will take that. Aquarius. <laughs> Unexpected communication. We have the Tower, which is Scorpio. We have the Six of Cups. We have the Eight of Wands. So unexpected communication can be with the Water sign of Scorpio. I feel like that's what I feel. But anyways, that happening. Blockages in communication being removed here. Is someone that you already know, Six of Cups. Okay. We have luck. A sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. Luck. All right, Aquarius, your luck's gonna be turning around here as well. Like you're gonna be more lucky. Like you know, like extreme amounts of like luck, I guess. Like lucky events. Like things that are gonna happen that should not be happening. Like miracles. You understand? Like that. We have healing. Oh, look at that. And we also have star. You are the star in the tarot deck. We have true healing of the mind, body, and soul. All right, healing. So I don't know if you're healing here, all right, or if you're healing someone else. Either way, whichever one applies to yourself here. Number 28 with victory, yes, success, victory, all right, luck, communication, all that stuff. Beauty, all right, so I can put this two ways, either you have someone who is coming back around and in your life who is very attractive themselves or you can also apply this to yourself what I want you to do is also apply this to yourself all right no matter how you feel at the moment so let's move on to the sign of Pisces and then that'll be the last sign here so what blessing is coming to the sign of Pisces the Queen of Swords, which is Air. You have the High Priestess, and that is your own card with the Five of Swords. Alright, so Pisces, you might be having conflict with another Pisces like yourself, or a uh, Air Sign, Queen of Swords, Five of Swords, the High Priestess. You're, you're at this, like, higher level, Pisces, of intuition, High Priestess, alright, but you're having conflict. No. Oh. So let's see. Friendship. A friend needs your help. Your kindness and excellent counseling skills will put them back on track. So Pisces, friendship. It's it's a friend that's in your life. We have triple moon, which once again we do have the moon. Embracing all aspects of yourself, the earth, the the, the divine and the earthly. All right, which we do have the high priestess. So you are definitely in your own element. You definitely are embracing yourself here. All right. We have number 29, the world. Look at that. Expansion. Pisces. This world, er, <laughs> this card talks about expansion. 
Alright, your world is going to be expanding here, and it feels like spiritually, Pisces, like you're connecting to a lot of different things spiritually, like there's a lot of ascension happening, okay? I feel like you're going to be heavily affected by this moon here. Like all these moon cycles are affecting you very heavily. Travel. There can also be some travels coming up ahead for you. The world travel, all right? Expanding your world in ways of travel. Okay? So, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to subscribe. Bye, guys.